What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a very strong team, or at least what I think can potentially be a very strong team that features Justify Cabalion, Choice Scarf, Shadow Rider Calyrex, and Life Orb Regilecki. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, get on top of that, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. It really does go a long way. So shout out to all, all the people who are subscribed to the channel. But like I said, this team right here is looking really, really strong. You got the Dragapult and Cabalion Justifying combo, which you can just go into a beat up and get Cabalion rolling. You also have the Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Indeedee combo with that Choice Scarf, so we know it's probably going to be able to outspeed pretty much anything. And then you got the Life Orb Regilecki, which can hit like a truck alongside with that Support Landers. Cannot wait to get after it with this team and try to get some wins. But let's get started in that top left corner here with the one and only Dragapult over here. Dragapult's here just as a support build and to be paired up with that Cabalion. And it has clear body, safety goggles as an item, and then it has breaking swipe for physical attack drops. Beat up, you know, to trigger that just fight on that Cabalion and give it attack boost. Phantom Force to dip out and for a stab move. And then last but not least, Will-O-Wisp to burn some physical attackers. Right next to him is a Cabalion. This Pokemon is an absolute beast in Dynamax form after the beat up is rolling. Justified ability, Assault Vest as its item, and then we got Iron Head, Close Combat, both for Stab, and then we got Stone Edge and Bounce, both for our coverage moves. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon and showcase them, considering I do not use them too, too much in this format. Middle left is going to be our Restricted Mon, and that is going to be Shadow Rider Calyx. With that Choice Scarf, cannot go wrong with it. It's going to be able to outspeed tons of Pokemon, just do a crazy amount of damage all around. We got Astral Barrage, Expanding Force, Psy Shock, and Hyper Beam for this great Choice Scarf moveset. Right next to him is going to be Indeedee, which pairs perfectly with that Shadow Rider Calyrex. Sets up that Psychic Surge, so Expanded Force can hit on both Pokemon. Then we got the Citrus Berry as the item. Move set for Indeedee is going to be Follow Me to protect the allied Pokemon. Helping Hand to make allied Pokemon do more damage. Expanding Force for our stat move. And last but not least, we're rocking with Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Life Orb Mon. That is going to be Regilecki. And I absolutely love using Regilecki with the Life Orb. It just makes it so much stronger. And it makes it uh, viable in Dynamax form. So usually I do not Dynamax Regilecki unless I have a uh, Life Orb on it. So we have Life Orb on it. So probably we'll see a uh, Dynamax Regilecki in today's video. We got Transistor, Life Orb as an item, like I already said. It, and then we got Rising Voltage, E Web for Speed Control, Protect, and Hyper Beam for our coverage move. Last Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Speed Control Pokemon, and that is going to be Prankster Tornadus with that Focus Dash. It's got Hurricane, it's got Heat Wave, and then Protect and Tailwind for that Speed Control. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Do I even have to say it? Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Justify Cabalion, Twist Scarf Shadow Rider Calyrex, and Life Orb Regilecki team. As you guys can tell, my voice is a little messed up. It's just off. I lost it a little bit this weekend, so it is what it is. You guys are going to have to deal with it, but we're hopping into our first battle for today's video, going up against a great Zacian team that features competitive Milotic, Intimidate Landorus, Grimmsnarl, Zapdos, who, if I had to guess, has the life orb, and then another Intimidate Pokemon with Incineroar. This guy locked in his team really, really quick. Really, really quick. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? We have a lot of different combos we can go into. We could go into the uh, beat-up combo. We definitely could, but I could definitely see him maybe leading Intimidate Pokemon, and I wouldn't really mind, right? Would not really mind. Do we still go into that combo? Hmm. Or I could just go straight in, like, Indeedee and Calyrex, just to kind of counter up on the fake out, and just get after it that way. I do like that. I honestly really do like that. I'm going to lead them to get the Calyrex combo rolling in battle number one, and then maybe go Regilecki. Yeah, I like Vegelike here, and then last but not least, I just think we bring Cabalion in that back and can work wonders, especially up against the Zacium. We can hit it up with a close combat, do some work that way, kind of roll out from there, right? I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. Let's do it. Let's lock that one in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yeah, I definitely want to go into that Cabalion combo, but I'm just like, dude, he has two Intimidate Pokemon. I really do not feel like dealing with that, even though we will get like a plus four bonus. So it'll just bring us up to three, but... I just like this Calyrex combo a little bit here. I just think going into like a helping hand, him not knowing that I have Choice Scarf, I can just outspeed and do a big amount of damage. So let's see who he leads. He leads the Lando alongside with Zacian. Okay, so there's one Intimidate. He also brings out the Zacian here who could do some big damage, but we know he outspeed, which is super, super good for us. Super, super good. So I'm thinking just going helping hand, either Astro Barrage or Expanding Force. One or the other could do some mean, mean damage. I'm loving it. No berries allowed. We got Unnerve popping. Zacian's going to get that Interpret Sword, and he's going to roll out from there. Dude, imagine if Zacian learned a first turn priority move. Thank God he doesn't. Thank God he didn't make him that broken. He's still broken, but he's not that broken. 
Psychic Surge is going to pop out here. I absolutely love NDD with the Psychic Surge. Really, really great support mod. Really, really great support mod. But uh, yeah, I just think like Expanding Force probably our play here, right? I mean, we could do that, but then it's just like, mm, I think we'd rather get more damage off on Zacian. Because obviously Expanding Force will do more damage onto the Landorus, but it's not very effective onto Zacian. And I just think Astro Barrage is going to be the player. We want to do as much damage as we can to this uh, Zacian. So I'm just going to help a hand. I'm going to drop an Astro Barrage, and we are going to get after it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I wonder how much damage we're going to do here. I wonder how much damage we're going to do. But that's what's really good about this combo right here. They can have no first turn priority moves, so Sucker Punches cannot come through onto Calyrex if they're rolling out with a like Pokemon, say, like Urshifu or something. But he's going to end up protecting the Zacian. Great call by him. Uh, it's fine. We're going into a double hitting move, and Astro Barrage is going to do some big damage onto Landers. He might end up going for an EQ. Protecting like that. Let's see. Unless we just take it out here. Helping in. Bop, big old damage, bring it down past half, which is awesome. And this thing's just gonna U-turn and pivot out. I'm cool with that. So he U-turns, he says, yo, I'm out of here. I'm gonna drop another Astro Bosch and just go into another helping hand. Or I could follow me. What is my play? I mean, we have a really fast Pokemon in the back end with uh with the Regilaki, but I do think he brings out the Zapdos and he Dynamaxes and starts taking speed, right? Dude, I'm too smart. I'm way too smart. So he's definitely gonna Dynamax here. Astro Bosch is gonna pop again. And do we just helping hand or do we follow me? I said we just helping hand, man. Helping hand, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's help a hand. Let's just get off some damage here. I mean, he does not Dynamax. Yo. That's lovely. That is lovely. He does not Dynamax. I love it. I love it. Astro Botch coming out here. Getting off some damage, yo. We're just chunking damage here. We're just chunking damage. Big old damage coming out here. And this thing is going to go for a blade. I don't care if these people go down. I think Regilaki can just come out here and pretty much win us the battle, right? He's going to go for that blade. That takes us out, right? Yeah, bye-bye, Calyrex. So he'll pick up an easy double kill. Um, I'll just Dynamax Cabalion and just E-Web Speed Control for the rest of the battle. Right, you Eerie Impulse. Get out of my face. <laughs> eerie Impulse, I wanted you to go down. Okay, that's fine by me. Special Attack drops harshly and... What's our play here? I think we're just going to Regilecki. Dynamax him? I don't think we Dynamax him. I just think we just, you know, just E-Web. E-Web follow me, right? Because E-Web will be able to take out the bird, no problem. Maybe be able to take out this Axion, but then we just go into a follow me here. And any shot that comes out there is... We'll take out the... Uh, we'll take out the Ndidi, and then we'll just get in Kapalion, Dynamax, and I think we're sitting really good here. I really do like where we're sitting. He's going to withdraw his Axion. I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. He's going to withdraw, and he's going to go into Lander. So Intimidate's going to come back out here. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. That is totally fine by me. I could drop a Hyper Beam. I'm just going to go into yet... Actually, I might drop a Hyper Beam onto that Landers. I might drop a Hyper Beam into that Landers. Really depends who he brings out here. Follow me, he's going to come out here. E-Web's going to drop. And it's going to take out Zapdos, no problem. So what's my play? What is my play? What is my play? He has Zacian, who's super low on HP. Regilecki totally outspeeds everybody. Um, I could just die. I might just Dynamax Regilecki here. I'm thinking about it. If he brings out Zacian, I think we Dynamax Regilecki. I think plans change. And then we can just go into a max strike, take out Landers, and then just follow me to shot, right? He's gonna bring out Grimstar. So Grimstar is his next Pokemon, and he might end up Dynamax with Grimstar. Um, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna Dynamax Regilecki here. I just think it's a play at this point. We'll take out Landers with that, and we'll just go into a follow me here. Yeah. That's definitely my play, 100%. 1,000% we're doing it. Rocking out. Life with Regilecki, getting a Dynamax in battle number one. I just think this could win us the battle, right? I'm trying to think, what could he do to kind of like counter this going on here? But Zacian's low health, Regilecki outspeeds it, can one-tap it easily. I know he still has a Dynamax, but I think it's going to go towards Grimstone at this point, right? He Dynamax into Grimstone. He does not Dynamax at all. He's not Dynamaxing. What is this guy doing? I don't, I don't think I don't think he knows what to do from here. He's kind of stuck. Light Screen's gonna pop here, and if this if this Max Strike takes out Landers, we have this match in as a lock, right? Max Strike comes out here. It's gonna slow down everybody, but we have the Follow Me still going. There's a KO, yo, dude. That's GGs. That's GGs all day. Critical hit. We didn't even need it. And uh, again, yo, Follow Me's gonna poke you. I'm just gonna keep Follow Me, wait until this uh thing goes down, and then we'll bring out Kamalion. Dude, it's over with. We got this in the bag. He cannot Dynamax uh. Zacian, but he can only Dynamax Grimstarl, and we have a Steel-type Pokemon in the back end, which is, mwah, it's beautiful. He brings out Zacian. I could see a Protect coming out from him, but I just think going into my max, uh, 
lightning into that slot and change the terrain is probably your best bet. All right, max lightning. Going to the follow me here. 1000%. 1000%. No need to change up what we're trying to do. I think we have this battle as a lock. This seems like a lock, right? He has a Dynamax Grimmsnarl. It's a support Grimmsnarl, so I'm loving it. Could be a G-Max Grimmsnarl. It could indeed be a G-Max Grimmsnarl. But a lot of people, when they're using Grimmsnarl, don't even use a regular uh, or a G-Max Grimmsnarl. So he's going to end up protecting his Ascian like I thought, but I didn't want to make the risk. There was just no need for it. And we're going to poke a follow me. So let's see what Grimmy's going for. Grimmsnarl's going for attacking me. He's trying to get off some work here. We're going to go into this. Bill, chip up some damage. And another thing that I have to do is just go straight into the... Uh, this Ascian here. I just have to take out this Ascian, right? Right? I have to take out this Ascian. Yeah. I'll waste another Dynamax move on that. Spirit Break's gonna fly through here. You should be able to soak that up, right? Soak it up all day. Love you, Ndidi. I love you, Ndidi. So, Ndidi's Maestro on special attack. There's no need for, to go for an attack move. And finally, our lovely little Berry Church. So, we get our Berry out there. We get our health back. And we're just gonna do the same thing, right? Max Lightning. Bang. Into you. Even if he protects, I'll take him out. And follow me. Is he going to Dynamax? He has to Dynamax a Grimmsnarl, right? He has to Dynamax a Grimmsnarl here. It just seems like a bust. It just seems like a must. But then we still have Speed Control. We have Rising Voltage, which is now double damage in this terrain. We'll have our Cabalion come out here with Iron Head, I think he has. Yeah. And there's his Dynamax. He did it. Grimmsnarl coming out here. But yeah, this is weird. Support Grimmsnarl getting the Dynamax. He did not set up a Reflect, which is really, really nice for us. So this is perfect. And it is a G-Max Grimmsnarl. Look at this lovely little Pokemon. Look at this cool little Pokemon. I always love seeing uh, G-Max Grimmsnarl because like not a lot of people use them. And it has such a cool design. Looks like he's just like very cut. Goes to the gym all the time. He's just super cut. But follow me, he's gonna come out here. We'll let NDD drop. Like I've been saying, we just have like a, a foolproof plan here. Foolproof plan. That's it, get out my face. I'm sick of you. You dead, get on out my face. And this thing's probably just gonna go for his G-Max Snooze, right? Something along the, oh, that could do us dirty. That could, that could do us dirty. That's a that's like a yawn, isn't it? Indeed, he's gonna drop here. Okay, I see you. It's super effective. Doesn't that work like a yawn or something like that? But then I just bring out Cabalion. We have speed. I'm gonna Iron Head. I'm gonna Rise in Voltage. All dang day, dude. And I think both these moves might be able to take it out. Oh, yo, that thing's shiny. It looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. But I definitely want to show off the Cabalion beat up combo in the next battle. But we'll just go into the Rise of Voltage. Double damage here. With that life orb and then just iron head ggs right but these moves should be able to take him out unless he's guarding what are you doing kind sir dude this dude's swole i love g max grimstar such a cool design yo some of the g maxes in this game have really really cool designs which i love but this is a great first battle long drawn out everything's working perfectly but we kind of knew that we were going to get ourselves a win here for a while now but rise of voltage does a lot yo half a dynamax shot iron is going to poke probably finish it off right it does not. It does not. Who's he going after? He's going to go for a Starfall. That's definitely going into Regilecki. He'll, he'll take out Regilecki, right? And Cabalion outspeeds. That's GG's. Get out of my face. GG's, baby. Jeans wins. Hey, hey. Jeans wins. Hey, hey. Unless we miss an Iron Head. I should hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Imagine this dude dodges our Iron Head and just slaps up on us. And what's he... Oh, he has leftovers. I was like, dude, did we crack a policy or something? <laughs> Every time I see that, I, I just think we get policy instantly. But Iron Head's gonna poke. He should just cancel battle. I swear, yo, if he protects this turn, I'm gonna cry. There's no way he protects. He doesn't waste his last Dynamax turn, right? No way he wastes his last Dynamax turn. Let's see. Make a move, Kaiser. And I don't even think he can KO me in one shot. But Iron Head pokes through. There it is. Win here in battle number one. Let's hop in a second and look to go back to back. Let's keep the streak rolling here in battle number two. We're going up against a very strong Reshiram team that a lot of people have been using on the rank ladder as of recently. He has Reshiram, he has Landorus, G-Max Blastoids, Grimmsnarl, Rollboom, and Thunders. I think this is a great battle for us to actually roll out into Dragapult alongside with Cabalion here. I really do like this combo here. We can roll into the beat up combo, look to get our attack boost on Cabalion, Dynamax him, and just take control of the battle from there. But uh, who else should we bring here? I think Vegelecki could be really, really good for speed control and just back end control. And then last but not least, Cannot go wrong with this Calyrex. Cannot go wrong with the Calyrex. Let's lock it in here. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But that first battle, that was a solid battle. But 
at one point i think it was like halfway through the battle we just knew we had ourselves a victory he couldn't really do anything we kind of locked him down by doing big damage early on with the uh, shadow rider calyrex and then it kind of flushed him he didn't know who to dynamax because he was like should i dynamax landers he's like one shot basically i can't dynamax the uh the zassian so we did a lot of damage and that combo just worked perfectly that's exactly why i went into it but it's super super strong it honestly is just going into that helping hand. We have the choice scarf on that Calyrex. He's just going to outspeed everything. And with the helping hand boost, it's just too much damage to handle. It really is. But he finally locks in his team. Let's go back to back here. Let's go back to back. But yo, I didn't even ask you guys question of the day. Did not even ask you guys question of the day. And that is, do you guys like the Dynamax format or the non-Dynamax format better? Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys want to catch more content from me, did not say this in the beginning. Head over to my Twitch page. Name is right below the face cam. Genius25 on Twitch. And there's a link down in the description below. Hit that follow button and catch your boy live. I would love to see you guys pop out and you guys say hi to me. But uh, he goes into landers. He gets off that intimidate alongside with that blast swords. So obviously like beat ups just to play here. 1000%. 1000% beat ups going to be the play. We're just going to rock into it. And then we're just going to maybe go after the blast swords. Maybe go after the blast swords, right? I think we do. Dynamax. Hmm, did we go into the blast leads? We could. But I'm, I'm kind of wanting to go into Atlanters. I could just go for a speed boost. I could, uh, knuckle. I could shell smash, but we have speed all day. Unless he goes into a shell smash. I don't think we, I think, I think we need speed a little bit. Hmm. Could indeed take speed here. Or do I go for the defense boost? What's my play? He might die to max Atlanters, so you know what? I'm going to go into steel spike over the Atlanters. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Is he going to shell smash though? That Blastoise is scary, man. That Blastoise is definitely scary. But we do have Reg Lucky in the back end who could do a great amount of damage on it with a Rising Voltage or even an E-Web. It's Life Orb. It's going to be able to do great damage. But we're Dynamaxing our boy. We have speed right now. Um, I really want to go into an Airstream, but I just feel like this defensive boost can be really, really good for us, especially with that Landers out on the field. So right now we're minus one. We'll go up to plus three, I believe. Because usually we go up to plus four normally with beat up. But since we're minus one, it will just be plus three. And let's see if he ends up Dynamaxing. He's going to be Landers. I'm kind of hoping it's Landers. Not the Blastoids. Because Blastoids is scaring me, man. Blastoids is giving me the problems. Let's see. Is it Lando? It's Blastoids. God dang it, dude. So he's probably going into an Ice move, maybe. Into uh, Dragon Pole. And in that case, I really don't mind it. I really do not mind it. Or he could just be going into a Canyon Aid, dude. That move is ridiculously strong. Beat Up's going to fly through here. No Protect Pokes out here. My boy is getting them attack boost all day. All day. Cabalion's just such a good justified Pokemon. And it's really good typing with that steel and the uh and the fighting. It just works wonders. It just works wonders. But dude, G Max Y so it's terrifying. I remember back in like uh the first couple series for this uh for rank battles here in Sword and Shield, uh Justified Arcanine was huge. It was really, really big. I used to use it all the time. I used to love it. I used to absolutely love it. But we roll out here with Cabalion getting off them beat ups. Hit four times. We're plus three now. And we have speed. Steel Spike's going to come through here. And I think Steel Spike should be able to pick up a KO, right? Yeah, Landers, get out of my face, dude. I'm not dealing with you. We get a nice little defensive boost. Hopefully, he throws out a physical attacker. But I wonder what this, uh, what this blast was going for. If I had to guess, he's going for like a Hailstorm or a Canyon Aid, right? Let's see. There's the Hailstorm. Mmm. Mmm. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Dragon Pole goes down. I really wanted him for at least like one more turn. Just for the sheer fact is like, uh, we can get off a burn on a physical attacker or do something like that because we have a lot of different support moves. So my boy drops out. It's all good. Do I bring out Reg Lucky from here? He shows that he's Orb. Buffets are going to fly through here. And who's he going to bring out here? That's the real question. Who does he bring out? Could bring out Calyrex. I think we save our Calyrex. I think we just straight up bring out a Reg Lucky and we just get rocking out from there. We could double down on the Blastoids, but it really depends who he brings out here. I bring out Reg Lucky. Get out there, my boy. Love me some Reg Lucky. Shiny Reg Lucky. He's got that little white rings around him. Looking cool. And Gripstar is going to poke here. So I think Gripstar does set up a uh, light stream. I really do think that happens. And we could just go straight for a rising voltage. Or do we go for that E-Web? I mean, we really don't need speed. I could protect you. I think I do end up protecting you. I think I protect you and just take out Grimstar, right? Yeah, all day. All day. Can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with it. We protect the Regilecki. I think the Blastoids is going to go in the Regilecki. Seeing him as a threat. And I think a Light Chain is going to get set up here. Reflect gets set up. Okay, so he sets up the Reflect. I thought he was going to set up the Light Chain. And I still think Cabalion takes out that Grimstone all day, right? 
Wait, dude, Kapalion's beasting, yo. He's a beast. Through the reflect. Get on out of here, Grimmsnarl. And again, I do think the Blastoise is going to slide over and try to hit up on my Regilecki. So, Protect could be perfect. It could be perfect. We're wasting out Dynamax turns. He has no speed control. I think he's going to Canyonade, right? Here comes Canyonade into Regilecki. Am I correct? I believe I'm correct. He's a very smart guy. And no, it's into Kabalion. God dang it. So, rough Protect for us. We could have went straight into a Free Rise Voltage. He gets a crit as well. And we get caught into the Vortex, which is rough. Real rough. Okay. Okay, so we still... I, I, Dude, I'm liking where we're sitting here. I'm liking where we're sitting. Unless he brings out a Pokemon that's faster than my... uh, That's faster than my Cabalion. I mean, if he does, we just go for E-Web. We should be able to get off our last Dynamax shot pretty easily. And then we just have our Truly Scarf in the back. Which I can just Astral Barrage. Bang. GG's, right? It's looking good. It's looking good for us so far. But dude, Cabalion's design is so sick. It's a deer, yo. Reshiram comes out here. I was expecting that. And... He doesn't outspeed us, right? I don't think he outspeeds us. I think I'm just going to go for the E-Web just in case. E-Web and I could Rockfall. I could Rockfall just to, just to change up weather a little bit. Rush Ram could protect. Rush Ram could indeed protect. But you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. If Rush Ram protects, he protects. It's so good. Okay. He guards. I'm fine with that. He ends up guarding. So E-Web's going to poke here. And you going to slow down Resram. Just do, just do a tad bit of damage. And I do think this Rockfall KOs. I do think it KOs. Even though it's coverage, we're plus three, dude. My boy Kabalion is rolling strong, yo. No problem with him. No problem whatsoever. Take him out, please. Dude, he is insanely strong, yo. Insanely strong. This is exactly why I use this team. So many different combos to go into. It's just phenomenal. It's just phenomenal. He goes three for three with his Dynamax turn. Pick up three one-shots. And now it's just... It's over, right? It's 100% over. Because I'm almost positive this Blastoise cannot eat up a Rising Voltage without when it's not Dynamax. And we're Life Orb. Even if we weren't Life Orb, I still think we would have been able to one-tap it. But yeah, GG's, man. G to the G's, yo. 2 and 0. 100% 2 and 0. We didn't, and we didn't even have to bring out our Shadow Rider Kalex. Like, dude, this Cabalion just totally controlled the battle. Sweeping left and right. Insanely strong. Insanely strong. And he had an Intimidate on us. Imagine if we were plus 4. We didn't even need the plus 4. That's just... We're just, we're just, we just, we just don't need it. We just don't need it. But Deer's gonna come out here. I think he cancels the battle. 100%. No way he la he leaves his poor turtle in here to get ripped up. He does. Poor turtle's gonna get ripped up by Rise Voltage. Blastoids, get on out my face. Like I said, there was no way he's eating that up. That's GG's. If any of you guys keep up with my Pokemon Sword and Shield content, you guys know in my last Sword and Shield video, I said the next video... We were grabbing ourselves a winning record or a perfect record, and we already got that. We have ourselves a winning record already. We're 2-0. Let's look for our perfect record. And we're not even using a heavy meta team. This is like half and half, right? I would kind of consider it off meta. Like, we have a few meta Pokemon with like the Tornadus, the Indeedee, the Shadow Rider, the Calyrex, and the uh, Regilecki, but they're all using different items. They're not just like meta items with the meta Pokemon. You guys know what I'm saying? This seems very cool. I'm liking it a lot. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record here. But we're going up against a uh, Ice Rider Calyrex team with uh, Indeedee, Incineroar, Amoongus, Tapu Fini, and uh, what is that Pokemon? Landorus, but it's in a different form. It's in a different form. But we already showed off our two main combos, which is awesome. We got the Indeedee and Calyrex in the first battle, Cabalion and Dragapult in the second. But we have 30 seconds left to pick. I'm going to try to use these other Pokemon. I'm going to lead Tornadus here, get rolling with him. I might end up leading Calyrex. Do I end up leading Calyx? Or I can just take Burn Control and kind of get after the battle this way. I do kind of like that. Actually, no. Let's go, uh... Let's go Regilecki here. Let's bring Calyrex. And then last but not least... Cabalion? Yeah. I'm liking Cabalion. We don't use it that often. Let's lock in this squad here. I'm loving it. But we really didn't need to bring Tornadus and Regilecki. Unless we're Dynamaxing Regilecki. Maybe I'll Dynamax in turn one. And just Tailwind set up and go from there. That's not a bad play. That's not a bad play at all. Because Dynamax Regilecki does work. It does work. Not as much as that beat up uh, Cabalion does. Because we just showed it in a, off in that last battle. He was just ripping. He was just ripping. But he ends up leading Amoongus alongside with uh, Mel and Didi. Mel and Didi's kind of scary. It can hit hard. It can hit really, really hard. This thing can spore up on me. I might try to drop a Hurricane on it. I might try to drop a Hurricane on that thing. And just E-Web a little bit. Yeah, I think that's our play. Let's try to drop a Hurricane on that thing. I'm hoping this can connect. That would be great. That would be great. But we're just going to go into... Uh, do we E-Web? Or do we just go straight into a, like a Rising Voltage? 
mean, we really don't need speed. I think we just go straight into this rise of voltage. I probably should have went for an E-Web, but just in case this thing goes for a Rage Powder, but I think he's going to be trying to spore up on me. Look at that little mushroom, yo. He just looks so angry at all times, yo. He's having none of it. He's like, I got to get out of the forest. Oh, he thought, yo, we Rage Powders. He's like, I got to get out of the forest to battle you guys. He's, he's not having it. He does Rage Powder. I definitely should have went for an E-Web, and for that reason. But Rise of Voltage can come out here, chip up a little bit of damage, and I'm hoping this Hurricane connects. I really do need it. Bruh. What you mean? Hurricane connects. Or misses, actually, and Trick Room connects out here. So, I'm, honest to God, terrified here. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We're going to go into a Hurricane here. He can spore up like crazy. And we'll just go straight for a Rise of Voltage here. He can just spore me, yo. He can spore... Yo, dude. That, I hate this game, yo. Why couldn't our Hurricane connect, man? Why couldn't our Hurricane connect? This is rough. But at least he set up the uh, Psychic Turning for my uh, Calyrex. But the problem here is going to be wasting out these Dynamax turns. Oh, not the Dynamax turns. The Trick Room turns. So right now, battle, battle's not looking good for Jeans. He spores. And of course, dude. Spores so broke. Or Amoongus is so broken in Trick Room. Instant sleeps. It's instant sleeps here. We need to connect this Hurricane. Expanded Force is going to poke out here. Oh my lord, yo. Eat this up, boys. Tasty snacks. Reds like eat. Going. Yo, Hurricane, I need you to smack up on this thing. Oh, he has a Cobra Bear. I was like, yo, we missed again. Oh, my Lord, yo. This thing is ripping. Give me the ducks, at least. Give me the ducks. Ducks. Give me ducks. Yes. Yes. That gave, that gave us a chance. That gave us a chance here. Putting that thing with the ducks. Uh, Cabalion's going to have to come out here. We're going to have to Dynamax this Pokemon. 1,000% going to have to Dynamax this Pokemon. Actually, do we even Dynamax him? I don't know. I don't even know if we Dynamax this thing. I wish I had Protect. Because if he spores us, that's just wasting our Dynamax turns. Ah, do, 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 do. What do I do? What do I do? I, you know what? I have to Dynamax him. I have to. I'm going to hope that the Ducks connect. Ducks, I need you. I need him to hit, hit himself in confusion. And then we'll roll out with a Steel Spike. Or do we get an Attack Boost? I said we get an Attack Boost. I said we get an Attack Boost here. Let's go, Ducks. I need you here. I need you here, Ducks. I need the Ducks. This is like our last chance here. Because if, just say he uh, puts us to sleep here. It's pretty much over. It's pretty much over. We do have the Soul Fest so we can soak up some special attack shots. But I'm banking on the Ducks. I am banking on the Ducks, yo. Come on, Ducks. Do him dirty. Do him dirty here, yo. Hit himself. Come on. Let's go, Ducks. No! Oh my lord, dude. I wish we had protect. I wish we had protect. Cabalion, I need you to wake up as soon as possible. Maybe a one turn sleep. Expanded force pokes out here. And Tornadus goes down, dude. He goes down. Get out my face. Get out my face. Rough battle here. Rough, rough battle. But yo, we at least have to pick up a KO. We have to pick up a KO because you guys know the rules. I do not go 0-3. And, and I do not get swept. And yo, an Amoongus and Indeedee looking like they're going to sweep. These guys are doing me dirty, but no, I don't think they're going to sweep. I do not think they're going to sweep, but yo, this combo is nasty. It really is. I was not expecting that, but yo, we got to go into Expanded Force here. It's our best play, and we got to go into a Max Knuckle. Knuckle up, baby. Oh, please, leave me alone. Yo, can you hit yourself with Confusion so we don't get swept? Dude, I can't stand this guy. I cannot stand this guy. Oh, my Lord. How does this guy enjoy this? How does he enjoy this? Wake up, Cabalion. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. What you mean? I can't get swept. I cannot get swept because you know I have to delete my YouTube channel after this. If we get swept, I have to delete my YouTube channel. What's my boy Amoongus going to go for here? I swear, yo. If, if my Cabalion doesn't wake up here and waste his three Dynamax turns to sleep, it's going to be rough. That's going to be rough. Snap that... Snapped out of confusion. Goes straight for Rage Powder. Oh, okay. We can't wake up, but this guy can snap out of confusion instantly. Get out of my face. We soak up. Can we wake up? Oh, my lord. I, I can't. I can't do anything. We can't get swept. We're going to go first here, though. And Cabalion's a guaranteed wake up here. But I have no Dynamax turns. <laughs> what is this game? What is this game? I can't deal with it. Expanded Force coming out here. 
We'll do that, and I guess we'll go for a close count. Actually, no, we'll go for an iron head. We'll look for a flinch here. Can Calyx, can you at least wake up here? I'm not gonna lie, if Calyx can wake up, we have a chance here. We honestly gotta have a chance if Calyx wakes up. Two Pokemon get three turn sleeps. Iron head poking here. Can we get a flinch at least? Give me some luck. Flinch him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is that terrain still out here? Is the terrain still out here? I don't know if it is. I don't see it. It's not. It is not. Are we still choosing that? Can I switch? Oh, I can switch. I think I am going to switch now that the terrain's gone. Because the Iron Head can KO you. Rage Powder comes through. Iron Head's, uh, actually, Calyx goes first, and Calyx should wake up and already slept for three turns. We need, we just need Astral Barrage to take out, uh, this Amoongus here. It's on one. It survived on one. Yo, Indeedy, bro, this battle is just a mess. This battle is just an absolute mess. He goes for Expanded Force. Who's he going after? Cabalion should be able to eat that up. Assault Fest all day. Of course not. Of course not. We don't eat it up, we go down, and it just comes down to Calyrex. And actually, Calyrex can't, we can't win. We're choice to an Astral Barrage. <laughs> this battle was awful. This battle, just everything did not go our way. Two, three turn sleeps. And Enemugus survives on one, and Enemugus doesn't stamp out of confusion. Rough, rough, rough. All day, this is just rough. So, Astral Barrage, not very effective. I'm running this one. I'm out of here, yo. I am out of here. But, yo, can't complain. We had a great set of battles today. Two and one, dominated our first two. Last battle, RNG, and everything else was just not in our favor. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for that last battle. That was honestly awful. That was just a terrible battle. But, hey, we grabbed ourselves a winning record for today's video. And the first two battles were great all around. But I absolutely love this team. We had two great combos with the squad. You got the Justified Kabalion combo to pair up with the Dragapult. Then you have the Shadow Rider Calyx with the Indeedee. And then you also have two Pokemon like that Tornadus to help with Speed Control. And that Life Orb Regilecki. Just this team is phenomenal and really fun to use in all different situations. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.